Ready, sir. Let's go. Round number one, Chokely looking to bounce back from his first loss in his Bellator MMA debut. It came against Kyle Crutchmer, who kicked off the prelims by knocking off number 10 ranked Oliver Encamp, while Vinicius De Jesus, he was defeated by Austin Vanderford in his last fight. Vanderford, the next to challenge gate guard Musasi. Yeah, both of these guys are very happy they're not in against stud wrestlers right now because that doesn't help. You know, it, when you want to be that striker and you have the power, especially the power that Chokely has, has, he wants to be on his feet. De Jesus, very good with his movement, very good with volume strikes. We'll see what wins, the volume or the power. De Jesus. Now at 170 here, and that was Chokely. a clean, clean right hand by Chokely. And Chokely's landed a lot of them in his career. Nine wins, nine knockouts, looking for his death on De Jesus here in the opening minute of the first round. Chokely making a mistake by actually getting into the, allowing that clinch to happen. He actually created it. That's helping De Jesus clear his head. Blood already on the face of De Jesus. Ate a right hand, just missed. Did Chokely with the left kick. De Jesus is, he has eaten several right hands. That's why you see him going for that takedown. And secures it, but ends up on his back with Chokely working from the close guard of the Brazilian Jiu Jitsu black belt who started training BJJ with his father when he was 12 years of age. In fact, De Jesus began his pro career with a 24 second knockout of Anderson Silva. No. We're all Anderson Silva. Not that Anderson Silva. <laughs> needs to be careful with that left arm. You see that glove on the ground. You see the overhook on that arm. That's a way for De Jesus to start setting up submissions. He needs to get that hand off the ground onto the chest area. And like all fighters, Chokely wants to earn more bucks for his bang, and well, so far he's earned more money per second than many of his peers. All nine wins have come via first round KO. Well, you could just see in the you know the first part of this round the power that he possesses in that right hand when it lands. You see the effects on his opponent. All the way point to the opening round, hammer fist and left hands from Chokely, posturing up, ground and pound. And this is if you're De Jesus, you're saying, I want to slow this fight down, get the ability to crush the space. That'll keep Ch Chokely from be having power. But right now, he's not able to do that. Chokely's able to posture, and when he's posturing, he's landed big shots. <laughs> Final two minutes of the first round. De Jesus active from his back, throwing up elbow strikes, trying to cut Chokely, utilizing an active guard, trying to control Chokely's posture after tasting some of his power. You can see right away, right now, we're trying to bring in a high guard go to an Omoplata. Keeps on trying to bring that up and over, getting Chokely to move to the side. The Omoplata attempt did not work, but that's an active guard like you're saying, and that's exactly what De Jesus needs to do because when you are defending, you're not throwing strikes. And he's throwing strikes from the bottom. Chokely trying to posture up and begin to deliver some ground and pound again from the guard if he's capable. De Jesus has two rear naked choke submission wins. Chokely's just a very strong striker. You can just see in that hammer fist how much power he can generate from a short distance. And yet it is De Jesus who is active from his back and while not even coming close to getting a submission, is, is the one being offensive from his back, John. Yeah, I'll tell you, you'll see when Chokely starts landing just a couple heavy shots because of the fact that De Jesus has not been able to lock up any type of submission. Yes, he's landing some hammer fist, but not enough to and change this round. Switching, and there's a hammer fist to the midsection, right hand to the body by Chokely, under 30 seconds left in the first. Almost a good sweep attempt right there. De Jesus looking to get that sweep or that submission, but right now, Chokely defending against all of it. Solid opening round for the 
Levon Chokley, who again coming off his first career loss. Looking to bounce back tonight. Watch his shot. That right hand lands. That one didn't land so well, but there was the next one. That kick comes up top. Watch the big right hand that lands. That was the same sequence right there. Comes with the kick up top. And then the right hand just misses but gets into the clinch. And then some ground and pound, and some of it was heavy. You watch some of the hammers fist that come down. A lot of power, big right hand right there. Vinicius been trying to hold that position, break his posture down so he cannot be damaged. All right, round two, Joe, let's go. Second round, Chokely said about his fight against Crutchmark. He felt preparation was great, John, but he, he felt he, he didn't recover enough from the weight cut, and that slowed him down in the fight. And of course, Kyle Crutchmark, full value for the victory. And we saw him utilize his wrestling pedigree as Chokely goes for the head kick and lands on De Jesus. And again, Chokely needs to stop crushing the space. He's doing damage when he's at range. Switches to South Party's comfortable switching stances. And you're right, John. Staying at range, giving himself all the opportunity to do the most damage. You gotta take a look at where you are being successful. And if you are being the guy that's able to control what is happening from that range and land good shots, don't crush the space and allow your opponent to switch up what's happening. The Jesus, wow. Beautiful job by Chokely. Putting De Jesus using De Jesus momentum, putting him on his back. Where's the uptake? And Chokley says, I prefer you stand up. That's a smart move by Chokley. You can see the difference in the ground games. Who's going to be effective? Chokley in the stand up right now has been the guy landing the better shots. There he lands a solid one two before switching back to Southpaw. The Jesus leads with a right kick that fails to land. A minute and a half gone in the second round. Neither interested in establishing the jab, John. No. Both guys just swinging away, trying to land the big shot. <laughs> Left hook very close to landing on the mark. Choke the kind of slowing down a little bit. Jesus trying to put the pressure on him. And you hear the corner calling for the jab. Choke Lee gets caught with a counter left. There's a low upside kick lands for Choke Lee. Avoids the return fire from De Jesus. Minute to make that midway point of the round and fight. Levon Chokley in the red gloves, Vinicius De Jesus in the blue gloves, both back looking to get back into the win column. Take down attack. Now stifled by Chokley. Very nice job by Chokley to get his hips back because De Jesus did get deep on that. He's still in a position where he can work for this takedown, having him up against Cage, but that was very nice defense by Chokley getting those hips back. Right now, this is an important moment for De Jesus. He has been on the bottom every time. If he can get to the tough position, you see what type of damage or what type of position he can get into to go for a submission. <laughs> And in terms of punches, Chokely 25 of 65. De Jesus just 9 of 40. He hasn't landed that many, and that's you know part of has been the position that he's been on the ground, but his back on the ground for a lot of that first round. He's landed some good knee strikes in here. This is all good work, but he needs to work towards getting Chokely on his back. And one area where De Jesus 
has landed more as in terms of the knee strikes and uh, much to the delight of the crowd. The referee restarts the action in the center of the cage. 45 seconds left in the second round. A little more energy by Chopra coming out. Nice jab for that right hand. From Southpaw. Dispenses with the jab and leads with the left kicks to the body by De Jesus. De Jesus tries to establish the jab, but out of range. Chokely looking for that front kick, and well, De Jesus looking for some final seconds. Dramatics. Third and final round. How do you have it after 10 minutes on your unofficial scorecard? No, no doubt you had Chokely win in the first round. The second round is close. I can see the judges going both ways. I think both guys really, really need to go after this third round and put their stamp on it. But Chokely, I would say, is ahead to us. Down the right hand by Chokely lands upstairs. Side low kick by Chokely now switches back to Southpaw and Orthodox trying to be fuddled, trying to disrupt whatever rhythm De Jesus is trying to establish and hasn't been a lot of that for him in this fight. No, you know, De Jesus hasn't been able to land with the volume that he normally does. He's not the guy that has you know, huge punching power, but he normally puts a lot of volume and he lands a lot of strikes on his opponent. He hasn't been able to do that against Chokely. Done a better job with the knees and kicks than with the punches. Minute gone here in the final round. And again with both fighters. De Jesus having lost two straight. Chokely coming off his first defeat. You, you want to get back into that win column. But at the same time, you, you want to continue to impress. John. And there is an impressive one too by Chokely. So that right hand but he's at least going to leave an impression that was clean and power on it by Chokely. Lead right hand by Chokely back to Southpaw, left kick upstairs. There's the jab that popped De Jesus head back momentarily. De Jesus bounces a kick off the right arm of Chokely. And De Jesus looking for the takedown with three minutes left in the fight. Nice job of finally working towards that takedown. Sometimes that fence can be your friend, sometimes it is your enemy. And when he first drove it back, he had Chokely going, but the fence actually was a balance point for him. And he was able to fight through it and get Chokely to the ground. De Jesus securing his second takedown of the fight. Final two and a half minutes of this matchup between Levon Chokely and Vinicius De Jesus in the Bellator MMA welterweight division. Chokely on his back. Chokely on his back. This is De Jesus' time to really start to work, put a lot of pressure on him. Right now, he should be going more towards knee on belly, moving the position. Chokely's not that guy that has that big gas tank where he just goes all the time. I think Vinicius is in better condition. I think he can push the pace. I think he can try to make the submission happen by putting pressure on Chokely. Well, we talked about Chokely having all nine of his wins come via first round knockout. Seven of those were in under one minute. So he is in the third round for just the second time in his career. Went the distance in his last fight, the loss to Crutchman. Well, you saw Vinicius went to the knee on belly. And now inside control to Jesus. Again, knee on belly, sliding across. Beautiful reversal, nice sweep by Chokely. Beautiful timing by Chokely to go with the momentum as De Jesus stepped across from out, used his momentum to kick that position back. Guys at the top. Huge sweep by Chokely with a minute 15 left in the bout. And a couple of right hands followed up by a left from Chokely. 
final 60 seconds of this fight. Look at that, right there is the problem that you're seeing with Chokley in this third round. No setup, just throws the one big shot. You need to go with combinations. Use your hands to then hide your kicks, but don't just throw ones, and that's what we're seeing from both fighters right now. Hey, Zeus with that right uppercut left hand, both missed. Judges will be tabulating their scores to determine a victor in this welterweight matchup. Ladies and gentlemen, for the decision to go to your judges' scorecards, where Dave Turelli scores the fight 29-28, and judges Ron McCarthy and Mike Murtha both see it the same 30-27. I'll have it for the winner by unanimous decision, Levon Chokali. Last fight, he took an L. Tonight, he bounced back, Levon Chokali with a victory over Vinicius de Jesus, moving to 10 and one with one no contest, evening his Bellator MMA record to one and one as de Jesus, well, he drops his third consecutive fight.